That seals it up for Gypsy. <laughs> right? This is game six. So let's say Nyokin wins that. And then there's two more games. Yeah. Right? Or wait, no. No, we can still have a tie if Nyokin wins. So there is still... This is still going, guys. It's still going. Okay, anyways. Oh, what is... Why can't I get the colors red in... It's really weird. Okay, anyways. Uh, in the top right, our Terran player, Ioken. And in the bottom left, our Protoss. Beating Gypsy, finally. It's Dragon. Yeah, I do like that Dragon uh, mix it up, though. You know, you need to, when you're playing multiple games against someone, uh, mix it up and do something like a DT opener. And it wasn't a DT all-in, by any means, by the way, guys. Like, he was going into uh, Robo after that. Uh, like, I actually would have liked Stargate after that, to be honest, and go into Arbiter and go Robo a little bit slower, but, you know, uh, Dragon uh, wanted to get the DTs into a shuttle, which makes sense as well. Uh, and that's what's al what allowed him to kill him right away. If you didn't have a shuttle, then you can lay a lot of mines in the path to your base, and then you basically aren't going to die. Like, you'll be fine. So, a good kill there by Dragon. And, uh, yeah, Gypsy not able to 5-0 the group right off the bat, which makes it much more exciting as well. All right, so... Nyokin, we'll see if he's going to take his gas in just a second. Nyokin actually really likes a 145 gas. See that? See that? I told you. Talk to this guy all the time. <laughs> the 145 gas uh, allows you to get a 236 factory like every time and use one of the SCVs that pops out of the command center oftentimes to mine. All right, Dragon down here. Looks pretty standard. Not scouting as of yet. Okay, let's see if he does the end scout. End scout, very, very popular when you're going for factory expand. We'll see in just a second. He might scout bottom left next. I kind of like that about Nyokin, to be honest. Uh, he has his own understanding of the game and his own way, and he won't just do something because Flash says to do it, you know? Uh, you know, for people that aren't aware of End Scout, basically as a Terran player, it's the most common scouting pattern when you're going for a factory expansion, which Nyokin is, is to go in an end shape like this. And what that allows you to do is scout close spawns first, so that if they're going Nexus first in either of those, you can rush them down with Vulture Marine SCV. Uh, cross spawn you can't rush, so you just leave that to last, because there's nothing you can really do to affect it, because it's so much longer travel distance. Uh, but anyways, Nyokin, I mean, even if he saw uh, Nexus first, he clearly was not going to uh, rush it down. There are some other ways you can play, but that's a, that's a popular one for factory expands. All right, the probe finally going to find out where Nyokin's at and actually tries to run by. So kind of sloppy there by Dragon actually losing that scouting probe. Nyokin getting into the base, seeing a third pylon. So you can kind of assume that there's no hidden tech on the map or anything. We'll see if Nyokin goes blindly into... Uh, an eBay, though. Sometimes he does do that. He popped out a Vulture first. A little bit slow on getting it out the gate. And the Dragoon going to get a couple hits as it runs away. That's very annoying for the Vulture because you only have a very finite amount of health on that. Ooh, throwing down the Starport. All right. So hit an SCV down here at the bottom. He's going to be going for Vulture Drop. We did see him do this in his group uh, against models. And that was on uh, Shakuris... Uh, yeah, Shakuris Temple. And he actually, like, really wrecked Model's Probes. Like, it, he killed just about all of Model's Probes. And that was the beginning of uh, Nyokin's winning streak, because Model's did beat him the first game. Uh, but this is, like, a very powerful build. And, oh my god, I can't believe this Dragoon's down here. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe this. Nyokin is going to be so sad. Oh, that's brutal. I would give anything to see Nyokin's face right now. That is a sick scout. But you know what? The thing is, Dragon certainly 
uh, studied for these two opponents, right? That's obvious. Like, uh, they both had to play TVPs to get here. And this is... The thing is, the build Nyokun's doing, it's a little bit cheesy and a little bit risky. Because if that gets scouted, now you're now you're just behind. You're not going to get damage done. It's not the end of the world, okay? But you definitely do not feel good after that. Dragon can just make another Nexus, and there is nothing that can be done about it by Nyokin. If he doesn't make another... Like, if he makes any gates before a Nexus, I am going to be so sad. Because there's no reason for it. Uh, so, Nyokin, yeah, can't be very happy with that. But... Great catch by Dragon. Great catch. Is this Dragon's comeback trail? Way, well, way too early to tell. Now King can play a very strong macro game from here anyways. Second fact growing up. Uh, he does have that armory already made. Starts a plus one. Yeah, all in good time. Uh, we have the academy coming up too. And there's that third nexus off of just one gate from Dragon. And while this can be very risky, uh, the just... Gateway Robo with Observer into third Nexus. It's like one of the riskier builds. If your opponent goes expansion second factory and attacks you, you die. Like they kill your third and maybe you. Um, but because he canceled the starport, like you can only afford so much, right? So he knows that Nyokin's going vultures. He knows that it's like speed and mines most likely first. And he knows it's one factory. So when you put all that together, it's like, oh, okay. Literally, there's no way for Nyokin to hurt him. So taking that third Nexus is a perfect choice from Dragon. Adds a couple gates. Very safety play. Captain careful over here. Nyokin is going to lay mines out. And I mean, this gives him some great vision. Let's him know when expansions are being taken. Probably wants to sit this vulture down here. Because uh, this is very likely to be another base. Already has this mine to check there. Has a vulture waiting for possible probes coming up this way. Like, just look at the mini-map, right? He's got a great spread of vision. It's hard to get anywhere as Dragon without warning Nyokin by walking through what he's set up. Alright, Citadel coming up. Yeah, 7 minute Citadel. Very standard. Very good. And I would imagine for Dragon, he's going to be going up into Arbiter. It really looks like an Arbiter play. Nyokin, on the other hand, throwing down his third command center very, very quickly. Huh. Look at that. That's actually quicker than I thought it would be, but yeah, that's a that's a very clean and quick, like, seven-minute command center. So, not really too worried about the hiccups in his early build. Moving out into position. We'll see. Okay, I was going to say, we'll see if Dragon goes for a shuttle of Zealots, because it looks like he's going to, but when he played against Gypsy, he didn't position it to deny the third base. He just sat back very, very defensively with it. And, of course, that can be super great at breaking any push that comes in. But he's got observers over here, and he sees what's going on. And this feels a little bit unit light, so I wouldn't mind seeing Dragon maybe make some pylons and then moving out with his, with uh, the majority of his army to see if he can, I don't know, find some way in. But it seems like Nyokin's starting to get a good position. More Zealots coming. Arbiter Tech coming up as well. Dragon, very calmly and methodically clearing his fourth base. Gonna be able to take that. All right, now you can just getting a nice spread going. Sends two SCVs down here. Is he just going to take a fourth? Yeah, he takes a fourth on location. Off of two factories. Off of two factories. That is catching me off guard a little bit. Naokin playing as greedy as I've ever seen him, I think. Like, I mean, obviously, if Dragon knew that this was here, he just walks over and cancels it. <laughs> but I guess he just doesn't, right? Nyokin now, I think this is the time where he has to cut SCVs and just add all of his factories and reinforce heavily. Now, he has a turret here, a bunker here, two Goliaths. This is two shuttles. Dragon might kill him here. There is... Oh, he actually has range on the Goliaths. That's really good. Oh, he needs to run, though. He needs to get out of here. Yes, unsieges. Start to run backwards. He needs to do that. He needs to pull SCVs as well, I think. Yeah, here come the SCVs to block. What a great hold by Nyokin. That was... I... It chills, man. 
he needed to make all those choices like immediately and he did it so holds on to that no problem another shuttle coming up got on siege <laughs> so annoying uh, but Dragon walks back. Dragon uh, saw an opportunity to capitalize upon Nyokin's positioning, but Nyokin instantly countered it. Man, <laughs> that was really good. That was It was super good on both sides, honestly. Like, Dragon should have done that, and Nyokin just played perfectly against it and was fine. Okay, Nyokin adding his factories. Since he took this fourth base on location and it's done, and there's only four gates here, Nyokin's ahead now, if you ask me, right? Uh, Dragon got his fourth up, so like, it, it's not like uh, Nyokin is, is dominating or killing in any way, but all Nyokin really needs to do right now is, yeah, his upgrades are already spinning, and just add a ton of factories. He needs at least nine. I would actually prefer ten, I think, here. Let me look at the SCV count, though. Mm, it's a little bit light, but yeah, he, like, he just needs a ton of production right now, and to max out as quickly as possible. Dragon looks like he's going to come across the map once again. Does, with this observer, see that there are units coming up here. So we might see him do another attack up into this location. We saw that against Gypsy, and it really didn't work out for him. This is very Dragoon heavy. We don't see any Zealots in here, but could be in that shuttle. But Nyokin can hold this. Like, there's a reason why these guys are making a couple depots here. And they have the turrets, they have the tank kind of placed far back. All right, Dragon's gonna, Dragon's gonna push. He does have an Arbiter too. The Arbiter doesn't have enough mana for spells or anything though. And there's like, if, yeah, you just, you can't break that. You can't. Now you can set up more depots as well. Glad that Dragon pulls back because it did feel like game one against Gypsy that that was Dragon's big mistake that maybe started the snowball of Gypsy beating him. So Dragon pulling back, playing very uh, carefully. And he sets up a fourth nexus in the bottom right. That's not where I would have guessed. I would have thought uh, he'd take his fifth either here or possibly up here. But yeah, kind of interesting to see. Throwing up a couple pylons. Uh, that's going to allow him to make some gateways here as well, which is really important. Naokin's macro really f starting to find a stride. So we have nine facts right now. Yeah, you can't place one there. That would actually block this because these two are, this one's out to the side a bit more. Adding a few Goliaths in. Lots of turrets being made for Nyokin. Some mines laying down as well. He's uh, very cognizant of the possibility of a recall. Okay, I saw a scan. I'm not sure. Oh, he scanned up here. Okay, so Nyokin has the same thought process as me. This is a more natural uh, main for Dragon to take. This one, like, it's harder for him to spread himself over here. Like, a more central defensive position would be like here and here, and then he could cover this base more easily. Whereas this base, like if he has to defend down in the bottom right, this base is a bit more open. Also, it allows Nyokin to take here more easily. So yeah, it's it's a tricky base, and that's why Nyokin did not scout that yet. That's why he scanned up here, because he doesn't really expect this. So that could actually catch him off guard later. Obviously, Dragon sending probes over right now. He's gonna get that saturated. All right, some High Templars added in for Dragon. Arbiter's being made. Decent amount of gates so far. Definitely want to see him add a bunch here. And he's got a good spread of army. I, I kind of like how he positions, to be honest. Like, he has these cannons here. He, he actually hasn't really messed with pylon walls that much, which is kind of surprising. But Nyokin uh, was so factory light, we've seen zero vulture harassment, which makes sense for his situation, right? Going up to four add-ons now, the Madman. Two one upgrades are done. And we're max out on both sides. Looks like Dragon getting ready for another Nexus here as well. So he's already got his five bases, getting ready to take six. Great timing on all that. And here comes Nyokin. Big, big army coming down. Needs to back up. Oh, he's bleeding out in the front a little bit. You don't want these vultures to just get picked off for free. 200 mana on this Arbiter. That is scary to deal with. I think Nyokin has EMP. The way he's moving the, uh, the vessel makes me think that. Let's see now. Just utilizing these Dragoons to 
shave off the front. This is what happens if you get too far ahead of your tanks. You start bleeding off some units, so well done there. Yeah, it's a scary army on both sides. Like, this battle, I think, will come down to EMP, Stasis, and uh, Psystorm. But it looks like they're not going to fight. Dragon going for a counterattack up here. Naokin should be able to defend that pretty easily, though. Like, he can dematrix some of these tanks and just bring up his reinforcements. Scan goes down. He sees where Dragon's army is at. Okay, here we go. Dragon's starting. No, decides better of it. Doesn't want to attack him quite yet. You can see the positioning and repositioning over and over. Now, I feel like uh, Dragon, this is good for Dragon so far, even though Nyokin has an army that can win. Dragon has slowed it down a lot by his army movement. He hasn't really taken a full engage yet. And that just gives him more and more mana. Helps him to bank so he can remax as well. All right, starts to engage there a bit. Backs up. Good EMP. Hits that arb. So this arb no longer has any mana. But we still have enough for four stasis over here, plus a bunch of size storms. And here Dragon goes. Dragon, I think, has found his stride this game. These size storms are going to need to hit. Very, very important. Does he not have it? He has size storm, doesn't he? Ooh, an EMP goes off. Okay, does get a size storm down there. Oh, all the Arbiters have been EMP'd. Okay, that's gigantic for Nyokin. At this point, I think he can roll through the army. But Dragon taking another base. Man, EMPing all the Arbiters before they got their spells off is so brutal. It Like, that was the, the crux of Dragon's build as well. Now, Dragon's sending his probes out. He's just going to sack this base. He has a lot of units out in the map, so we can see something like a flank, but Nyokin's positioning pretty scary. Still got a pretty good high ground here. Sieging up a bit. Here comes the rest of the attack. Nyokin attacking at the same time. This attack, very important for him. All right, some storms going down. And yeah, not that many use for Nyokin. He might want to think about turning around with part of his army. Oh, great storm onto those SCVs. Starting to target down the command center a little bit as well. Another storm goes down. And it looks like he's going to kill the base of Nyokin. Now, Nyokin looks like he's going to kill two bases for the price of this one. Yeah. And that command center is gone. Naokin now coming back with a chunk of his army. Is going to get that Nexus. All right, we have this base up, this base. Ooh, wow, a lot of gates, a lot of production here. Starting to get some probe saturation here, but not, not fully saturated as of yet. It looks like Naokin going to flank this army. So the army going to die off. Would love to see him save these Arbiters. Looks like there's only one Goliath, so shouldn't it be that hard to get those out. Naokin just going to re-expand to this location. Still mining healthily elsewhere. But he will need to think about taking a fifth base relatively soon. Because it seems like this game's not going to end anytime soon. Even though Naokin did a bunch of damage. Taking this damage here and being slowed down a bit. Dragon is able to get his production going on these other gates. Which makes it harder to break these bases. So very low energy on these arbs. Wow, that is a lot of siege tanks, to be certain. All right, Dragon going to try to start to break out here. Nyokin just forcing his way up the ramp. No storms get off. Obviously, the uh, EMP had hit those Arbiters as well, so nothing there. And without spells, of course, Nyokin with these 3-2 upgrades going to bludgeon his way through. Dragon with no real counterplay anywhere as of yet. He, I mean, it's really important that he has that other main base. And he has some of these expansions that are a bit hard to kill. Hmm. Nyokin, uh-oh. This is a great kill by Nyokin. He kills off this Nexus as well. Looks like Dragon going to come down and try to save it. 
Uh, not targeting on the Nexuses. Maybe you even throw a stasis down here to make sure you save it. Okay, actually, all the tanks aggro onto the Zealots that run up, so he will be able to clear that out. Aoken fighting a lot of battles right now. Such an important moment. We really have to see some actual spells get cast here. Okay, there you go. That's it right there. Okay, so he freezes a ton of the tanks and vessels. So no more EMPs here. Plus it blocks attack in this space. Very important moment. But this Nexus now going to fall. Not enough units over here for Dragon. He is getting very low on bank, whereas Nyokin is very high. Dragon is down in supply as well. So a lot is still going against him. But definitely a very important moment there. He is going to be able to clear this out. Oh, a little bit sloppy there. Loses a very high energy Arbiter, unfortunately. Turret's finishing up. A Goliath here as well. Dragon going to lose more Arbiters. Okay, Nyokin coming down with those reinforcements. The stasis is going off. Of course, you want to reinforce those units that got stasis so they have a fighting shot. Another EMP goes off. None of the Arbiters have energy for spells right now. Oof. Dragon having a tough time this game. Nyokin with the very solid macro plays. And Dragon's supply is just... It feels a bit too low. What's his economy look like? This base seems like it's going to get taken out. Does have a stasis there. Ah, doesn't quite get it casted. Now we can move some units maybe towards that top left base. So macroing very, very strongly. And Dragon going to give this one up. Look, maybe he sends his probes up to here, but unfortunately for him, Naokin is going to attack this base. There's no way to save this. Maybe he can save the main base with more units coming out and some reinforcements. But yeah, this, this Nexus should die very quickly. All right, Dragon coming up the center, clearing some of these mines out. Naokin with a random tank in the center. Down goes that Nexus. Dragon not with a whole lot left as Nyokin attack moving through the map right now. Setting up a lot of turrets, setting up a nice position and taking an additional base. Nyokin now up on like six bases. And GG is called Nyokin. Gets his first point of the day. All right.